the Masjid al Tan has its own, you know, um, quote unquote, quote unquote, orf. Um, right after the prayer ends, uh, our Imam starts reciting Aitul Kursi, then some other Athkar, and then Dua, and finishes with a recitation of some Quran. So my question is, um, do I have to remain in my place and listen to his recitation and then do my own athkar, or can I just move a, li a little further away from him and then, you know, do my athkar and uh, other things? Jazakallah khair. What jazak? So basically, Abdullah's question is about what the Imam does after conclusion of his prayer. He does the athkar and he makes few duas, recites the Quran loudly and most likely the congregation either listens to him or repeats with him or repeats after him most likely if you ask him did the prophet ever do such a thing and he would say nope never so this is an innovation why are you doing this he said no 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 the prophet had never done such a thing but because we are here in Japan and most people don't know these Adhkar so I'm saying it loudly so that they can learn it. Now if you said this once in a lifetime, twice in a lifetime, hmm, maybe I would accept this but saying it after every fard prayer and for the entire the rest of your life this means that you're innovating and the Prophet had never done such a thing Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam nor did his companions nor did the Tabi'een nor did the Tabi'i Tabi'een so definitely either you know more than them or you have committed a, an innovation what is my role? your role is not to join them and I would definitely if I were there the moment the Salat is over I would stand and leave to the end of the masjid so that people would see me not being with them in this innovation. If he was sincere, he would have taught them one by one these athkar on a blackboard and they repeat it after him one by one, not in congregation after salat. No, he dedicates a class to do that and Allah knows best.